What's happening guys? Hello, welcome back to another video. So I thought let me switch up a little bit today for you guys. And basically I've been daily in my car since I've had it back for about a month now. And I thought let me just give an honest review of the F90 M5 comp and just drive it around a nice POV, just mess around with it, and then um, just uh, give you guys an honest review of the car. So um, I wanna block off the road, sorry mate. <laughs> Right guys, let's get straight into the video. I need you all to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Let's not get hit by a car. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go have some fun with this beast. I hope the angle is gonna be nice. Right, let's roll. The car is filthy guys, by the way, so apologies for that. All right guys, so this is a 2020 M5 competition. I'm sure the subscribers that have been around from the start know the car very well <laughs> for all the headache that's gone on with the car. People look at me like, what the hell does this guy got on his head? Looks like an idiot. And to be fair, the way I've put it on, it looks so stupid as well. But um, yeah, so it's a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 produces, on paper, it's supposed to be 625 horsepower. My car managed to produce 635, I believe it was and 750 new meters but this beast did 813 new meters so bmw slightly underpowered their cars and uh, goes from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds actually the compact does and i've clocked in at 2.94 before and uh what else top speed is limited to mine's limited to 165 which is annoying you can pay bmw 2000 pounds and they'll remove that limiter taking it to 190 miles per hour which is still annoying which is another limiter but i think if you fully delimit the car it could probably just about touch just over 200 miles per hour so i've owned the car i bought it last march a whole year but obviously as you guys know i don't have the car for so long but I've been, since I've had it back, it's been just over a month and I've been daily in it every day, basically. And honestly, I think as a day-to-day -day car, it is, you can't fault it. Like, literally does everything. It's so practical, the boot is massive. Um, it When you want it to be like, as a, when you want it to just cruise, like right, as I'm doing right now, I've got it on full comfort mode and you just want to cruise, it's really nice to cruise in. Um, yeah, like I can't, I can't honestly fault the car. Um, the suspension on the compacts are a bit stiff. I have to admit they're a little bit stiff, but um, it's, it's expected because it's a little bit more track focused compared to the normal um, M5s. Oh, that's a nice RS5 right there, guys. Is it an RS5? No, it's not. Oh, wow, it's just a normal A5. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's go in the back. Let's go in the back. Just cruising on the road on normal comfort mode, in press M1. On normal comfort mode is really nice, like proper cruises doesn't feel uncomfortable to all the seats if I show you guys it's not crash let me show you guys the seats seats are amazing proper comfy seats they, they have a massage function but that's why I think it's just a waste of time no one really it doesn't really do anything <laughs> if anything it's annoying so as I was saying guys I've been daily in the car for about a month now and honestly like I've really enjoyed it oh, I should get ahead of this truck but you know because he's gonna go everywhere he's gonna annoy me so Bloody hell, my phone just decided to go everywhere, didn't it? We're getting on the motorway now. Sorry, I'm gonna, <laughs> I got to the motorway a lot quicker than I thought. But basically, I'll, I'll talk more about normal stuff after. But we're just on the motorway now, and I'm gonna put it on M2 mode. So that means car is on full Sport Plus. So basically, engine is responsive, suspension stiffens up, steering stiffens up, but I don't really like to use it um, on, um, the damper's been stiff and the steering wheel being stiff. So look, BMW coming fast, guys, yeah? Watch this. So look, the way this car handles, guys, I'm only going around the speed limit and it's just planted to the road, literally. I swear, if I remap this car, if I just modified this car, it would just become a different kind of beast. man flipping up look at that flat out around the bend flipping off now that was a lot of g-force i experienced there wow like
like look i've been dealing the cars up for a month as i said and sometimes it still catches me by surprise especially if you're kind of around a slight corner and you put your foot down then you realize how fast this car is actually accelerating because then you experience more g-force instead of just the car pushing you back into your seat because then you feel the g-force from the side as well but flipping out what a monster but i can honestly say this car has been a joy to own i'm talking like i've had it for so long bruv i've had it for like only if technically it's a year but realistically it's only been three four months because I had it for about three months before that incident and then our month now stress but yeah the cars have been a joy to own i don't have any plans of selling it anytime soon but um i do want to do some stuff to the car but i'm sure as you lot know the whole finance situation is um you can't really do anything to the cars man it's just stress so let's talk about the fuel of this car flipping out guys this car is thirsty it drinks i can't i have to look to be fair the only downside is i'm doing a lot of miles because i'm literally traveling every day from hemel to london to watford to hemel to and and to be fair doing that trip even once is is accumulates about 50 miles so um yeah just to do the maths so a full tank in this car gives you around three the most i've ever seen it says it has said 324 miles i doubt you could actually get that but let's say realistically you're going to get about if you're really if you're really behaving about 280 high 200 maybe and um because i'm doing those trips like every day pretty much I'm, have, I'm having to top up this car every maybe three four days and you know it adds up to be fair so yes it's a it's a great daily but you do have to like kind of have some money on the side for fuel because it definitely is a bit of a bubble with fuel and i'm not gonna lie lockdown doesn't help everyone's struggling so having this car as a daily during lockdown is a bit a bit of a financial stress i'm not gonna lie <laughs> this car is a perfect like a car to use daily i would say for half the week you definitely need another car for the, for another half of the week because you know at the end of the day if you want to unless your pockets are really deep and let's be real i'm not gonna lie and say i'm balling i'm not balling so um unless your pockets are really deep then i would say you can literally daily this car every day and if you're doing 50 60 miles a day then i don't really think you should do that many miles with a car like this because you don't want to put that many miles on it just you know save the fun for i don't know go on road trips instead of like putting miles on it in these kind of in, in these kind of roads so yeah this car is like a year old already flipping out how time flies and now you could probably the value like like the sad thing is these cars lose value quite quickly the cash price on the road of this car when i first got it was 105 grand obviously dealer contribution all that i didn't pay 105 grand for it, obviously but um yeah like now i'd say this car is worth about if i'm really lucky 80 if i'm really lucky it's got 7,000 miles so i'd say eight 75 grand to 80 grand it's worth it's, you know it's fully loaded the only thing missing on this car is the ceramic brakes and the uh, upgraded speed uh, entertainment system it's got every other option you can think of um i wish i had the ceramic brakes have to be honest man them brakes are mad uh but yeah so uh you could probably pick one up this exact car up for about 75 to 80 grand um if you get it in the low 70s you've got yourself a fat bargain um but yeah so it's kind of a bit like mad that how, how much these cars depreciate in value but at the end of the day no one really keeps a car for the full term like yeah you can if, if it's literally your dream dream car and, and you and you really want to hold on to it and and do stuff to it and pay it fully off then cool by all means it's a great car to own but for me i have no plans to sell uh, of selling at the moment i still have got so much stuff to do guys on the car i really want to take it on the track i might wrap it um road trips i definitely want to take it to germany i want to i actually want to take it on the nurburgring i'd love to but i'm a bit shook of taking it there guys i always feel like someone's gonna smack into my car or, like i don't think i would spin out but you never know what can happen in it so um yeah so i've got no plans of selling the car anytime soon but you guys comment below what you guys think do you think i should hold on to the car like what do you guys think about this yeah obviously this is the last year pretty much 20 2021 is the last year where they're making full combustion engines after this year so the cars that come out at the end of this year or the ones that are already coming out this year are going to be a hybrid mix so it's going to be have a, that small electric motor as well and um as well as the combustion engine but they're going to be like probably three liters or, four, or max four liters but i doubt it and uh so i have i'm have i got this little theory that maybe in the near future once there's no more proper combustion engines that these cars might rise in value what do you guys think 
comment if you think I'm chatting rubbish or if there is some sort of, uh, if I've got a point, <laughs> all right? All right, guys, we're back. I had to cut off there because it was traffic and nobody wants to see the car in traffic because it's boring. So uh, back on some A roads. And uh, what was I talking about? You know what, Bunda talking, let's just rev it. I'm playing. <laughs> But that's the problem with this car guys you're always so tempted to just kind of put your foot down like the main thing is look these cars are built to be revved kind of thing they're, they're not gonna mess up but as long as you look after it like I don't see anything happening to the car you know so um, and no one really tries to egg you on in the car which is good but having said that there's a RS4 behind me I know it's not it's a normal state I kind of revved it there on purpose guys so the fed looks at me <laughs> you know I always, I always bug out I always feel like you don't want to go past the fed fast I'm sure they radio one of their friends in the area they'd be like silver m5 coming towards wherever you know keep an eye out on him he's speeding or whatever I wasn't speeding by the way it's just the sound of the car and the exhaust flaps are open so it's slightly screaming here man when you're leaving Watford flipping out it's just potholes everywhere <laughs> but yeah guys this car is so fun to drive I can't wait to take on a track I've actually got a track I haven't booked it but I'm about to book it with some friends who've got some serious whips they got like an M8 comp an RA and other guys got an M5 comp Donington Grey as well and uh, I'm gonna be taking on the track very soon it's literally in about uh, things towards the end of this month so um, I literally can't wait for that it's gonna be sick but I'm gonna need a second GoPro for that because it'd be nice for you guys to see some outside shots as well. Another thing I'd like to add, guys. So this car is running on the Pirelli um, P zeros, and uh, not the not the coarser ones, or whatever it's called. That's the proper sick ones. But these are just the Pirelli P zeros, yeah. And they're summer tires, so they're all right. Like they've never really let me down or anything. Traction's good. Never really slid around. That's because of the four-wheel drive system, but. I'm getting so many people like reading comments, forums, and they're all saying get it swapped to the 4S's ASAP. But so far, in my experience, I, I don't mind wearing these out because they're actually good tires when it's dry and, and temperature. And once the, the tires have warmed up a little bit, I've, I can't, I cannot fault them. It's launched really well. It's, um, it's never slipped or anything. Um, the launch has never bogged down on me. If it's because of the tires or maybe the actual system itself, but so far this car hasn't even let me down like that so I don't know man I think it's ever, it's just each person's experience on that car with that tire to be fair so I'm hearing engines but I'm not seeing none of the cars guys I think I'm gonna end the video here hope you enjoyed that it wasn't I guess it wasn't so thorough I was kind of getting distracted by putting my foot down quite a lot on the car but in a nutshell I think it's been a pleasure to be owning this car and you know driving it around and using it as a daily only downside is it's very juicy petrol is is, is you know it drinks so uh, that's the only downside that's the only fault I can give this car nothing else literally and um, if I could, I would definitely make it a stage two. Like it definitely has enough power. A lot of people say, oh, bro, it's got enough power. Yeah, definitely, it does have enough power, but <coughs> you you only really know the true power or how you know fast the car is when, when you basically come across a, a, a similar car or another car that's kind of just got a stage one remap on it. So um, yeah, but in a nutshell, guys, solid, solid car, man. I literally would can't fault it. So yeah, I hope, you guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm just pulling up to my mum's nearly in a bit. And yeah, I need you all to like this video guys, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more 
car content coming i'm just waiting for this lockdown to ease up because we can't do much right now it's really annoying and there's my brother walking blanco so you guys get to see blanco now hey blanco blanco hey what's up boy what's up i'm doing i'm doing a pov <coughs> I'm just driving the car around giving a little review like how it's been to own for a month. Anyways, safe you lot. I'm just going home. Safe. Alright guys, there you go. You got to see little Blanco as well. Whoa, little is getting wham already. But yeah guys, anyways, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification, it'll really help me out guys. And um, yeah, I'll catch you all very soon in the next video. Take care and bye.